Hey everyone, how are we all doing today? So um, right now we're gonna uh, we're gonna press this button and see what happens. And uh, what that is is that's the phase converter. I built this about 30 I don't know 30 something years ago, and uh, this was before phase converters were uh, really commercially available. There's been some people that they're making videos about using a, ro a rotary phase converter or using a VFD in lieu of a phase converter and static phase converters and all that. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is built. This is the start, this is the stop. <clears throat> this is a regular three phase contactor. This is the coil side contactor. This is a dropout relay. This is a heater for the third leg. <clears throat> Three fuses. This is where the power comes in, goes through, comes out the bottom, goes to the five horse idler motor. Capacitors are in here. There's two. This is only a five horse setup. Um, I built this for. Uh, I bought the enclosure as a surplus. The um, these components were left over from building a another panel. But uh, they were relatively inexpensive in the day. I think I, I had maybe a hundred dollars into this. So by today's today's money, you're looking at about what 150, maybe 175 bucks. The enclosure is really going to be the most expensive part. Um, this is a Lincoln. Uh, I don't remember the model. A T415 frame, maybe, with the shaft cut off because the shaft was damaged. So I ended up buying the motor from a motor shop, pretty cheap. Um, I want to say I spent like 25 bucks on it because they were going to scrap it because the the customer had bought a new motor rather than just replace the rotor because th those Lincoln motors are pretty cheap. So anyway, um, this thing's given me many years of service. And as you can see, it's not rigged. It's... Uh, Fairly, fairly straightforward and operates just fine. So uh, that's it for today. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we're out for today. Take care.